Environmental, social, and governance factors are central in assessing an investment because all commercial activity exists in a context. The majority of our clients are saving for long-term financial goals. It is over that time period that environmental and social factors tend to play out. If you really want to know what's going to happen to a company or to an investment, you need to know about the material things that are going to affect it in the future, and that's ESG factors. ESG factors provides another lens into a company. It also provides another set of metrics that investors can compare across companies. SASB's Investor Advisory Group is a group of leading asset owners and asset managers who support SASB's approach to improving the quality of disclosure on environmental, social, and governance factors and the transparency of corporate performance on material, environmental, social, and governance factors. What we see asset owners around the world doing is increasingly asking questions where is their capital going? To what sort of enterprise is it supporting? So in an environment where investors are asking that, I think having greater transparency will be an important thing. Institutional investors need data that's comparable, that's relevant, that's reliable. And that kind of data is difficult to obtain for environmental, social, and governance factors today. That's the gap that SASB aspires to close. We see ESG disclosure as being patchy. To put it in a word is uneven. Some companies are really not reporting terribly well. And then of the companies that are reporting, often year on year there are inconsistencies. We don't have a standardized reporting framework for corporations. And we need something more formal to provide useful information that we can use to make investment decisions. Efforts on the part of organizations like SASB are critical for continuing to improve disclosure going forward. At SASB, we're developing a market standard for the disclosure of sustainability information to investors that are material, that are decision useful, and that are cost effective for companies to provide. SASB standards are industry based because the sustainability factors that are relevant to financial performance vary across industries. What information can you actually use to make better decisions? I personally believe that SASB's approach to standards is critical. By setting standards that are material across industries, it gives us a level playing field. So that we can do those comparisons across sectors and make relevant assessments across a market. I think the consistency that SASB brings to the marketplace will be very valuable. I'm participating in SASB's investor advisory group because we have a unique moment in time for investors. For investors, it's going to mean better disclosure, more material disclosure of important information. That is focused, relevant to their investment decision making, and that really helps them understand the value drivers in the companies that they're looking at. We think it's important to support SASB's efforts. Their success will ultimately allow us to better capture ESG trends in our decision making going forward. I've had a lot of peers come to me and ask me, what are investors going to do to help SASB? And my answer is, ask questions. Ask questions of your managers. How are they integrating ESG and looking at sustainability? Ask the companies you invest in. How are they disclosing it? Get rid of the boilerplate and give us actual information that's consistent so we can compare it and find it useful. SASB provides a path forward 